All right, so here we got a 2003 Audi A4. And I'm just, I'm just gonna go over what breaks your air pump, secondary air pump. So this valve right here is called combit valve. When this valve goes bad, it will send condensation to this pump. This pump is gonna whine like the turbo is bad because water will be inside the pump. So in order to fix that problem, you gotta replace both. And I'll show you where this one goes. It goes right in the back of the engine. And this one goes on the bottom right here. Now, if I remove the bottom hose here of the pump, there should be some water inside. As you can see, look at that. See that? You saw that, right? So there you go. For those who are having the whining noise when you step on the gas, that you think the turbo is bad. It's not the turbo. Now let me show you what the other valve is. Okay, the other valve is right here, right there. It's held by three bolts in the back. And it got another hose in the back, a little, little tiny hose. And then it got a, it got a bigger hose in front of it, which is this one right here. So I'm gonna be replacing that. I might not show you the whole process, but I, I show you the best I can, at least the tools I'm gonna be using. All right, so let me do that and I'll get back to you. All right, so, so far this is what I got with the A millimeter, not A millimeter, five millimeter, five millimeter L key. You're gonna remove this one, two, three, four, five. You're gonna remove five bolts, just like this, five millimeter. Once you remove those five, then you're gonna have a sort of clamp over here for this, this line right here. So I remove that clamp. This is gonna be another clamp on the bottom here. I remove that one as well. There's another clamp over here. So first you're gonna remove First, you're gonna remove this one, this one out of the way. This one goes behind, just like that. So you're gonna re remove this one out of the way from there, the five millimeter there, put it on the side. Stay right there, okay. Then you're gonna remove your clamp over here, another clamp over here, another one back here. Then you're gonna pull it off from that valve. And we can lift this all the way, out of the way. Then you're gonna get another L key, five millimeter. You're gonna go back here. You're gonna have three, three screw. I already got them loose. So I'm gonna get them out by hand. I'm going to show you. So here comes one. They're really long. I'm not sure if this thing is going to have a gasket. I don't think it does. There goes the other one. And once you remove, you know, those two pipes, you're gonna have a lot of room here to stick your hand in there 
Just make sure the engine is cold when you're doing this because the engine being hot is gonna be a little bit harder. All right, so there comes the last one. And then I should be able to just, well, let me get the screw so I don't drop it. I should be able to just pull, pull it off these line. Yep, and there you go. So there you have it. And it does have a gasket, so I said I didn't, I said, well, I said maybe. So yeah, I got a gasket, so the new one doesn't have a gasket, so we're gonna reuse this one. So hopefully I'll get my blade and I can try to get it out without breaking it. Let's go all the way around first. There you go. All right, so this one, the way you test it, you blow through the big hole and nothing should come through. All right, so now just work your way back. Um, don't forget to put the gasket back on. I can figure out how it go, just like that. Yeah, that's the only way it can go. Yep, that's how it go. Just like that. Let me take the long bolt. And try to take two to balance it. Maybe I'll do all three. Now, I go straight down. Connect the little line first. Right there. All the way in. So now I just bring this straight down. Alright, so putting it back in, there is another hole. You can see it, but I can tell you it's right here, right in the corner. So there's another hole right there, so don't get confused. So when I was putting it back in, I keep putting it in that hole, the first hole. That's why I wasn't lining up with the other ones. But I finally figured out that the other holes for the valve, they're a little farther in, so not in the very corner right there. Yeah. So, the way. Yeah, just work your way back now. Put everything back in, and you're good to go. All right, there you go. So everything's done. Let's see, it's right there. Um, also, if your car, because I know most of them. The wire they will get like dried out from the heat and then you start having a misfire because the wire they start touching each other so they sell this harness i'm gonna see if i can add the link so you guys can fix your own um, misfire problem if it's due to the harness being you know um oil and all the wires will be touching each other so the harness, you know, you splice it right here and then you connect it here. So if you ever need to unplug it, you can just unplug it right there. All right. I hope you liked the video. Like always, please subscribe. Likes and share. And I'll see you in the next one. Oh, yeah. Here's the old one. And here's the other.
part. So those are the two parts we change. 